Hello and welcome to this week's top tips for moving home. If you're building an extension, doing a loft conversion or just extending your kitchen, you may well need planning permission. Here are some of my tips on what you need to know. Each local authority has its own planning guidelines. It's called a local plan. So there's not really any fixed rules because they all have their own one. Your local planning officer should be able to tell you in advance if you'll need planning permission for what you want to do, how to obtain it, and an indication if it's likely to be granted as and when you apply. Costs will vary depending on where you live, so do ask the local planning officer when you first inquire. Remember, extensions, which include loft conversions, in flats or masonettes always need planning permission. And if your home is listed or is in a conservation area, planning permission is also essential. Ignore them at your peril um, because you could end up in court facing a big fine and you could have to take down anything that you've carried on and built without permission. It's not worth it. To apply for planning, you'll need a written description, scale drawings, layouts, and highlighting how it ties in with adjoining properties. You may, of course, be lucky and not need to apply for planning permission because of rights of permitted development. It's worth getting your mind around these because they can enable you to carry out certain changes without making a full-blown planning application. Rights of permitted development have been relaxed quite a bit recently, so it's well worth exploring thoroughly. To find out more, take a look at the gov.uk website. We've popped a link below for, for you to do that. Each council's decision depends both on planning law and the impact on your immediate neighbours. Your neighbours will be informed of your application and given the option to object. So they usually get 21 days to do that. They can't object just because they don't like it. Um, they have to object on specific grounds related to planning law. If your planning permission is refused, you can then follow an appeals process, but it gets quite, um, it gets quite complex. I personally always feel it's worth having an introductory discussion with your neighbours before putting the wheels in motion. So it's not such a shock when they get a letter from the council. Um, it can be delicate and you're going to need your neighbours on site. So just put a bit of thought and care into that. If your extension uses a shared wall between you and your neighbour, you're going to need a party wall agreement with those neighbours. If your work affects them negatively and you don't have a party wall agreement in place, they can take you to court for repair costs as well as compensation. Under the Party Wall Act 1996, you must inform neighbours at least one month before work on the shared wall begins. Party wall agreement needs to be written and served by a specialist surveyor. Do see the links below. It's a good idea to let other neighbours know too, especially if their property overlooks yours. As I say, you're going to need them on side. Treat it carefully. If you're in a leasehold property and you want to make structural changes to it, you're also going to need a landlord or a freeholder permission. This is usually known as a license to alter, and that is a legal document. Don't leave it too late um, to make sure that you've got all your permissions and all the paperwork in hand. You want it in hand nice and early. Landlords or freeholders do have to be reasonable when asked permission, but they still may charge an administration fee to do that. If you didn't ask for that permission to start with, you might find that admin fee or the time it takes to reply a little longer or the fee a little larger. So again, treat it carefully, get it in hand nice and early. If you're doing some home improvements, we've got loads of useful advice on our website, moveiq.co.uk. And if you need a surveyor, we can connect you. Do check the links below. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.